Ashley corrected me earlier, the <laughs> difference between microprocessors and microcontrollers. So I'm going to be asking you about what is the difference between those and also obviously about... Exactly. Yeah. Uh, the, the key observation here is that um, all the majority of the side channels attacks that we know, for example, the most well known in the last few years is Spectre and Meltdown. Uh, in particular, these, those are microarchitectural side channels because side channels in general is quite broad. Uh, is that they target microprocessors or also so-called application processors units that are the CPUs or the computing units that power cloud infrastructures, servers, desktops, laptops, mobile device. What we have done was we went to the completely opposite side of the computing spectrum. And instead of these high-performance powerful CPUs, we target the very teeny tiny uh, small uh, CPUs or microcontroller units that goes inside these embedded or IoT device. Oh, right. Okay. That's the, the big difference. They are typically very resource constrained in terms of computing power, but also in terms of memory and power consumption. In, in the mobile phones, you have typically microprocessors plus microcontrollers. Okay. Uh, but typically, for example, where you have microcontrollers in some smartwatch, right. for example, okay. at your home when you have these IoT home appliance, right, right. you have on your uh, washing machine, uh, probably Alexa, and right. all of that stuff okay. is, is where you have these microcontroller units. One is, for example, one attack that where uh, the, uh, the attackers or the hackers or the researchers uh, basically leverage uh, thermal cameras to basically observe uh, thermal trace. Right. So they basically having thermal cameras, when we press the keys or do a pattern like to unlock the phone, they can analyze those images and recognize the patterns and they can understand which, which patterns they people use to basically unlock their mobile device. Oh, right. So, so what do you think are the lessons that vendors or, you know, people or users who are buying these products, what, what are the lessons that we should take away from, from this? Uh, the first big lesson is that the, the common assumption that uh, these microcontrollers are simple and will not, mm. not be subject to these sort of attacks is, is, is not true, it's not it's true. wrong, we and we proved that uh, with, with our attack. So what is your advice then to uh, uh, consumers like myself who might have, uh, you know, uh, have, have concerns after listening <laughs> to your talk, what should we do? Yeah, at the moment I think uh, you should be yeah, uh, following what these, um, these manufacturers that mm. use these microcontrollers uh, recommend to you because yeah, we are following up with the different affected parties. Mm. Uh, they will get. They are getting awareness for that, and they will, and they will implement. We have some ideas how to implement some countermeasures to minimize. All right. Uh, okay. And uh, yeah, we are in talks with them. So the will, thing for consumers is really just to uh, look out for any advisory that will be coming out from the manufacturers yeah. as a result of this. Yeah. So there's nothing really we should uh, be uh, doing, uh, opening up our uh, key lock and exploring <laughs> exactly. the microcontrollers. Okay, right. Oh, that's very interesting.